Wow, okay, it really does make a difference when you add in all the finishing touches and looks who's joining me right now, Victoria Tonelli. You did a great job. Thank you. So we want to talk about when to stop styling. Yes. That's a conversation that needs to happen according to you. So yes. are we sometimes over styling? Yes, it's equally as important to stop yourself. Yeah. So there's a difference between a beautifully styled space and a cluttered space. Uh -huh. So when I started on TV and I was a design assistant many years ago, they always told us more was more. We really mm -hmm. had to fill the whole space. So the coffee table had to be filled, all the side tables. It created spaces like this. Yes. They're not bad, but they feel chaotic to me, my eye doesn't know where to land. Yeah. So I have since appreciated the um, importance of a really, really good edit, and that's what we're talking about today. So pull back. Was pull it back. Coco Chanel that said, put on all the pieces and then take one off with your jewelry? Like, Could be, yeah. you have to exercise a little bit totally. of restraint with your decor as well. So yes. you got some rules, of course do. she does. <laughs> Rule number one, avoid the space feeling too bitsy with too many personal items, yes. too many little items Chachkis. everywhere. Tchotchkes, bonbonieres <laughs> yes. from every wedding you've been to. Yes. And also um, adding literal decor, you're like, no. Yes. I, so what I would say here is it's of course really important for your living room space or any space in your home to feel personalized to you. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean that everything that you own that you love has to be on display. Yeah. You have to edit back. So put things in your space that is still really beautiful and goes with the aesthetic. Yeah. So an idea that we came up with, we worked with an um, uh, artist called Patrick Scalls, which you yeah. love the art. He's yes. a Toronto artist. And what's great about Patrick is you can actually cut customize the piece. So I gave him words, pictures, inside jokes with me and my boyfriend, and he really subliminally put it in the art piece. Oh, so it's that. not so obvious, yeah. but it had those little pictures that really when I look at it, now I'm, I'm automatically reminded of those memories. So it's not so literal. I love that because there is something, that's so cool. There is something yeah. about walking into a space and seeing like, the humongous picture of a bride and groom on the wall. Yes. Or the big picture of the kids, and it's like, oh my yes. gosh. Yes, totally. It's nice to be a little less literal about yeah. it. Right? And talking about pictures, I have um, a bust of my, or not a bust of my grandmother, a bust <laughs> that my grandmother owned, because that right. would be really weird. Um, but it's a beautiful sculptural piece that when yeah. I look at it, I think of her all the time instead of Aww. having, like, you know, multiple pictures of her in my living room. Right, absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah, we can be a little bit less uh, literal about it uh, yes. as well. Okay, let's go to your next rule right now. Uh, when you are hanging art in a room, you're mm -hmm. saying it's important to mix your mediums. Yes, and I will say first, I'm actually okay with bare walls. Like okay. every single wall doesn't have to be filled because it actually makes the art pieces that are hung feel more important. Yeah. Um, but if you do have really long walls in a living room, you need to fill them. I would mix mediums. So for example, if you had three pieces of art to pick from, yeah. there's a, kind of an abstract art, an abstract art that's exact same size, Yep. and then there's a black and white photography. It's gorgeous. So I would actually pair these two together. Oh, Why? Okay. Because we're mixing mediums and they're not feeling repetitive. Yeah. I'd also change the orientation of this abstract piece to make it horizontal because this is a vertical um, picture. So switch it up. Yeah, so it doesn't feel repetitive because that to me starts feeling a bit boring and, and then, you know, too full. And that would be obvious, because most of us would say, oh, same frame, same frame, yeah. same size, same size, let's put it's one in one. It's counterintuitive. It's counterintuitive, but yes. it does make it look like, you don't want it to look like you're walking into a furniture showroom. Totally, and you don't want it to compete with each other. Yes. So that's a big thing. Very good. Okay, the next rule you have is about pillows. Okay, get ready, because this is controversial. <laughs> Never know. have more than three or four pillows, or four pillows on a three-seat sofa. If yes. you have a three-seat sofa, no, you can't have seven pillows. You can't have seven. Too I, many pillows. Maybe I can get behind five, but like here. Oh, oh, they're for angry. Example. <laughs> Do you agree or do you disagree? Oh, they're saying yes. Okay, that's I thought true. I was going to get booed. Okay, no, no, no. They're saying um, that's but If good. you can't sit on the sofa, if you actually have to move the pillows off the sofa to sit, which yeah. is what the sofa's for, then you've gone too far. Okay. I also feel like small pieces of furniture can get very easily overwhelmed. So, so this what about is a, this chair here? With yeah, the, try and sit on that tray. So it's is that like, comfy? I have You can't this fully much sit. Room, right? And also, it's just such a beautiful chair. You don't need to clutter it. So let's take off the pillow. Okay. I'd even take off the throw. Okay. And then now you just have this beautiful piece that doesn't feel over cluttered. That's from Home Society, Aww, by the way. I love yeah. that chair. But that's so much better. And I have a picture too, you know, where I put tons of uh, pillows on a sofa and kept all the chairs bare. 
which to me okay. looks way better. So that's one way also to balance it out, totally. right? If you are in love with your pillows and you have your pillows. <laughs> yes. I feel like a lot of people will agree with that pillow rule. Maybe we've gone too far, yes. right? Okay, here's another rule. Rule of thumb, you want to allow for 40% of your table, a coffee table top to be covered. Yes, totally. So not the whole thing and not too little. Yes, okay. so there's a fine balance again. Yeah. A well-styled coffee table can obviously really pull together a room, but there is such a thing as going too far. Yeah. So now I want to give you an edited shopping list for anyone who owns a coffee table to go shopping for. Okay. So one. Yes. Stack of books. Right. I would say five to six. Yeah. If you are stacking books, two is great, three is fine, four is too many. Oh. Always. Okay. Okay. <laughs> four books, it's just too much. Yeah. So those are your groupings. Next up is a vase. I would kind of I would say more or less always go for a rounded vase. Okay. Because the books are always square, so you want to round out the shapes. Fair. And a bowl. Yeah. Which is here and an object. And those okay. are all from HomeSense. Look at how good this all looks though. I mean, you you think about it and it's like, well, the rule seems kind of ar arbitrary, but it works. Yes, and, and why it doesn't feel chaotic is groupings. Yeah. It's because it's grouped. One, two, three, four. So now we're gonna take this exact accessories and put it on a different shaped coffee table. Okay. That's a bit smaller. Yes. So this is our branches here. Branches are also like very in right now. Beautiful. More so than flowers. Okay. Um, Cause you can keep them alive for longer too. I think that that's lovely. They're a little bit more minimalist They're so I can sheep. see them being right up your alley and they last longer. Totally. Which is great. And then always keep one stack of books bare. Okay. And then one stack of books with an object on it. These are great. I always put my remote in those. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then you're done. So exact same. Um, Items, but now I'm doing three groupings because the table's a little bit smaller. Oh, so we ditched the bowl. We ditched we the bowl. We ain't got no room for that. Bowl's gone. <laughs> Victoria, thank you so much. These are thank great you. rules, and we love your design style. So looking forward to many more lessons.